In this video, I'm going to react to the marketing package for a 1 million square foot industrial building. While the property I chose was completely random, I selectively chose the landlord. And that landlord is Prologis, the largest industrial property owner in the world with nearly 1 billion square feet in their portfolio. I've got a really exciting announcement to make at the end of this video. If you want to skip to the end, you can jump right to it using the timestamps below, but I think you'll enjoy this video and it'll directly be tied to the announcement anyways. So stick around for the whole video and we have a much better surprise at the end. A couple of quick disclosures before we jump into this. First, I own Prologis stock. I don't necessarily recommend it, so do your own due diligence before you decide to invest in it. Second, I own a Prologis Monopoly game. And while it's still in factory sealed condition, I'm very disappointed to disclose that there's a small tear in it. So let's jump into the property. And I'll leave a link below as well if you want to check this out, but I'm also going to go through it in more detail. So the first thing you'll notice is that they have a dedicated website for the property as well as a brochure. This is becoming much more common now, but you'd be surprised how uncommon this was as as little as five years ago. A couple of main things I want to point to, and if you're in the business of marketing properties, you might find this a bit helpful. First, they did a separate video for the property and it's really well done. I'm going to play a bit of it and we'll go through this. There's clearly some drone footage, which coupled with some great interior shots and some impressive graphics, it really provides a solid overview of this property. Second, the contact information is very easy to find. Don't make it difficult for people to contact you. So some of the things that I really like about this is just how much detail it goes into. So it tells you it's a 721,000 square foot logistics warehouse with the potential to expand it by another 298,000 square feet, taking it to over a million square feet total. Uh, it goes into some of the details about how much office space, plus or minus 10,000 office space, uh, 717 stalls for tractor trailers, 237 car parking stalls, also gives you the specifications on the power, the ceiling height, uh, tells you that it's sprinklered, tells you how many dock doors there are, also how many grade doors there are. Uh, and I think that that's a pretty good high level overview of what's in there. Let's open up the brochure just so we can take a little bit of a deeper look into here. One of the things that I really like about this brochure, and I'd like to see it in, in every brochure, and I'm sure tenants would as well, is just having this map showing exactly where it is in relation to, relation to some other major cities. Uh, also tells you roughly how many miles it is from other major markets. Uh, again, the brochure uh, restates some of the things that were put on the website. But again, keep in mind that a lot of tenants and brokers will, will only look at the brochure or if they're touring the property, this is what they're going to bring. So I think uh, the more you can put onto the brochure, the better. Uh, there's some good pictures here again, some good aerial pictures showing where the parking is, where the expansion is being proposed. Uh, they've got a site plan on here, which shows it uh, as well. And, uh, including on where they could expand it. Uh, they go into some more details about the labor market for companies that are concerned with site selection. They'll have, uh, they'll make their decision based on where they've got access to labor amongst other things. So Prologis is obviously recognizes this and they've put some detailed demographics in there. Uh, one or a couple things I, I guess we could say on here is that, that I'd like to see is some more details about what the type of lighting is. Is there air makeup unit? Is there racking in place? Uh, is there the capacity for any cranes? Uh, I'd like to see a floor plan for the uh, office space, uh, which could be handy. It's not nearly as important. Uh, as some of these other things that, that are already on here that we've mentioned, but I think having a floor plan of the office is going to be crucial. It's still 10,000 square feet of office. How is that uh, demised? I, I think that that's an important thing to flush out and to just put a simple floor plan of the office space on here would have been pretty easy. And perhaps even just elaborate on, on some of the other functions in here, such as the solar panels on the roof. Uh, if you could provide some indication on, on what the output of that is, on what the potential savings are. There's a lot of companies that are very sensitive to this right now. So to take advantage of that and, and talk about it, I think would be really important. Uh, other great things that they put on here is, uh, again, they've got the clear ceiling height. Uh, they've got the, the uh, column spacing on here and the number of dock doors and grade doors. So I, I think that that's all very ha helpful, but I suspect that there is a much more detailed package where uh, prospective tenants are giving 
uh, more information. Again, this is a marketing package, so they're trying to entice people into, into inquiring it, hopefully touring the property, which at that point, if more questions arose, either Prologis or the listing team would be able to uh, answer that. But I, I think that there are a few of those small things that we talked about, which would be helpful. So whether it's of this property or any property that you might have, I take the opinion that if you can answer some of the key questions ahead of time, uh, that, that will save a lot of time particularly if you have to keep sending out the office floor plan to everybody that inquires. It could be a bit of a lead generation thing where people do want to have, have people just call in and, and then they hope to convert them into, uh, into a, a tour or a prospective tenant. But I think some of those things just make it a lot more simple for brokers and tenants that are trying to perhaps create a short list or get properties in front of their clients. The more information you have, I think the better. One other thing that you might have noticed is that there's no mention of the rental rate. While this may seem a bit peculiar, it's not necessarily uncommon for landlords to avoid publishing this type of information. For one thing, it could affect negotiations with other tenants. For example, let's say the rest of this building is an arbitrary $5 a square foot. If the landlord has another tenant coming up for renewal on a different property, that tenant may latch onto this number and it could frustrate the negotiations. It's a pet peeve of many brokers and tenants when there isn't a price listed on the brochure, but a case can be made that a tenant leasing 1 million square feet is going to be well educated on the market. But what are your thoughts? How would this work in your market? Or do you do anything different? What works for you or what doesn't work? What are some of your pet peeves in this? But back to Prologis. Given their size, they sort of serve as a bellwether for the industry as a whole. And not just industrial real estate, but even the economy as a whole. Since they play such an integral role in the global supply chain, I look at Prologis as a barometer for the economy and the industrial real estate market as a whole. If you're involved in industrial real estate in any capacity, even if you don't want to own their stock, which again seems quite expensive to me at the moment, so do your own due diligence before investing, I'd encourage you to at least track their performance and read their market reports. This alone will make you much more informed about the industrial real estate market. But back to the announcement. I'm very pleased to announce that next Friday at noon Eastern time, I'll be doing a live interview with Walt Rakovich, the former CEO of Prologis. Not only was Walt a CEO of an S&P 500 company, but he took over when the stock was the third worst performing stock on the S&P and it was on the cusp of bankruptcy. It will be a live interview, so I'll make sure we have time to answer any questions you might have as well. See you Friday. I wonder if it'll make it more official if I take my paper on the desk like this. While we'll certainly discuss how he turned the company around, uh, you gotta scroll. Prologis is now the largest industrial property in the world. Uh, a live interview, so I'll make sure we have time to answer any questions at the end as well. So, I don't know, no, scroll. It will be a live interview as well, so make sure, no, just leave it. It'll be a live interview as well, so I'll make time to answer any, sorry. It'll be a live interview as well, so I'll make time I don't know why I can't say that. I don't know why I keep... It will be a live interview, so I'll make sure we have time to answer any questions you might have too. See you on Friday. You're a pro. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna still try and say it because I gotta get it in one time, so just scroll it up a little bit. I'll put that in the bloopers though.